January the 16th. They call it Blue Monday. It's meant to be the saddest day of the year. Not for me though. I had my best day of sales in months, nearly 200 pounds worth in total. So you could call it Green Monday. So let me show you all those sales as well as a load of sales I've had since the start of the year. I haven't really been adding sales to the end of my videos because it just drags them out. I want my videos to be shorter going forward so they're more manageable. So I'm going to do standalone sales videos to just make things a little bit easier. And if you want to watch them, you can. And if you don't, hey, that's entirely up to you. So let me show you what sold between basically the end of last year up to now. Now, the biggest change I've made to my shop in 2023 is promoted listings. Now, I was a little bit hesitant about promoted listings previously. I'm already paying quite a lot of fees to eBay. I didn't want to give them even more. However, I found promoted listings have vastly increased my sales. So my thinking is, if I've got something up for 30 quid, I'd rather pay one or two pounds more to get it shifted quickly than sit on it for months. Makes sense, right? So I've basically blanketed all my, all my shop, all my stock, promoted listings at 5%. That basically means if the item sells through a promoted listing, I pay an additional 5% in the final value of the item. So where before I pay at say about 15%, does vary a little bit, I now, I'll now be paying 20. Does sound like quite a bit of a jump, but to be honest, going forward, I just want to have, get things in, list it at a fair price, take a reasonable offer and get it out the door. I do not want to be sitting on things for weeks, months, months on end. I've got a spreadsheet, anything that takes longer than three months to sell, so roughly 90 days, I've really got to think to myself, do I really want to be selling that again? Unless the profit margin is massive and it's something that I know will take a long time to sell, certain die cast, certain clothing, let's say, certain footwear. I want things in, out, shake it all about. I do not want to be sitting on things for too long. That's something I've done the last year. I don't want the same thing happening going forward. So I'll be chasing good comps. I'll be chasing good sales, but ultimately I'm happy to take a few quid off. I'd rather take a few quid off and have it gone than sit on it for a month or two months more. Now, I won't go through everything. I've had quite a few sales since the start of the new year. I'm just gonna focus on the more noteworthy sales. I've had quite a few. I don't wanna bore you, but I'll go through the ones that are, you know, they stand out more, they have more merit, and hopefully you can uh, learn something from them. So, New Year's Eve, had a couple of sales. These are Hugo Boss Select Line Alabama Cotton Trousers. Paid three pounds for these in a charity shop. These are gone for 26 pounds plus postage. Nice. Bought this Johnson's of Elgin 100% cashmere cardigan just before Christmas. Paid £4.50 for it. That's gone for £50 plus postage. Fantastic. Keep an eye out for this. Johnson's of Elgin. Sold a Nike ACG women's like windbreaker jacket. Only paid a pound at the car boot. Had some mad stains on it, which I managed to get out. It's gone for £17 plus postage. Not an amazing price. And to be fair, Nike ACG I think is overrated. Don't shoot me. Standard like ACG stuff windbreakers, like basic jumpers, even t-shirts, unless it's a really attractive spell out, just don't seem to do too well. At least not on eBay. Depop may be different. I don't use Depop. So let's move on. Okay, so first sale of the new year. I didn't actually have any sales New Year's Day. Maybe people were hung over. I don't know. But my first sale of the new year were these Fit Flop Goth Pro Leather Clogs. Yes, leather clogs. Picked these up in a charity shop just before Christmas. I'm pretty sure I paid £4 for these. They have gone for £30 plus postage on offer. Had them up for 35 And I think they sold, took a couple of days to sell. That's what I mean by, if I've got something up for, let's say, 40 quid, if somebody offers me a fiver off or £6 off, I'll probably take it because I'd rather get it gone quickly. I've still made a lot of profit. I don't want to hold out for top profit because I'd rather get things gone quickly. I'm just experimenting with just sales... Um, I've got a lot of stock. I don't want to be sitting on things for weeks, months on end. I want that flow, I want the stock flow. I'm bringing things in. I want the stock going out to be of a similar rate, if you know what I mean. Weird Fish Men's. This is a purple crane t-shirt, like a Prince parody. Paid three fifty for this in a charity shop. That's gone for £15 plus postage, but sold really quickly. So although the profit margins aren't really there, the fact it sold quickly doesn't matter. Easy to pack, easy to post job done this was a good sale so i picked these bell staff leather motorcycle trousers up mm, i want to say maybe october time paid 15 quid for these in a charity shop nice big size I think they were a 40 waist they've gone for 100 pounds plus 10 pound postage 
fantastic. Bellstaff, amazing brand. But stick to the leather stuff because their sort of polyester wares just do not hold the same value. Sort of pair of Mayers. Now, Mayers to me, they're kind of tanked off, a bit like weird fish fleeces, I find. The selfie rate just isn't as strong as it once was. So I'm being a bit more selective of what I pick up. But I bought these. These are a pair of Romers, good size, width 36, inside leg 32. Paid £4 for these, I believe. They've gone for £25 plus postage. I'm finding the darker colours sell better. So navy, as these were, dark greys, like crimson, not crimson, like burgundy, stuff like that. I'm finding the, the beiges, the light greys, the dress pants, they just aren't selling as strongly. So I'm going to bear that in mind when I find mares in the future. These are some Trezetta Women's Gore-Tex walking boots. Paid seven fifty for these in a charity shop. Again, just before Christmas. Sold them for £25 plus postage. Again, not a huge profit, but they sold quickly. Anything Gore-Tex I'm going to pick up as long as the price is right and the condition is right. These were nice. These were some uh, youth size 6 Nike Air Max uh, 97s. I say youth size. They're like a normal size 6, but they are targeted at a youth audience. Paid £4 for these at a car boot sale. They were almost immaculate, fantastic condition. And these gone for £30 plus postage. Again, had them for £35, took an offer, £5 off, get them gone. Nice bit of profit, nice quick sale. Had these for ages, glad to see them gone. These are a pair of boxed jigsaw espadrille shoes, only a size 3. So although they're in brilliant condition, because they're such a small size, they've just taken ages to sell. Paid a fiver, probably April time last year. They've gone for £25 plus postage, so good bit of profit. They just took ages to sell. So going forward, anything under a size 5, I'm really going to consider picking up because the smaller the size, the longer it takes to sell. So only exceptional pieces will be coming back in a small size. Sold another pair of mares. These didn't do so well. I paid a fiver for these as well. These are a pair of Oslo's. Again, good size, whip 36, inside leg 32. The Oslo just doesn't seem to do as well as the, uh, the Roma or the New York or the Chicago. So I don't know if the colour put people off as well. It's like sort of like mild grey colour. They went for £17.50 plus postage on offer. I just want to get rid of my mares because, well, like I said, they're just not selling as well. So yeah, again, the lighter colours. If something gives me a reasonable offer, I'll take it. Sold these North Face Ladies walking trousers. Again, paid a fiver for these. Bit too much in hindsight. They've gone for £17.50 plus postage. So again, not even making more times and profit. So yeah, I probably won't be picking up those again. Clark's. Clark's shoes are a bit of an enigma to me, to be honest, because I find some sell really well and others just languish around for ages. So these are a pair of suede lightweight leather shoes. They're called the Hinton Fly. Paid £3 for these in a charity shop. They've gone for £20 plus postage. Had them up to £25. Took an offer. So good bit of profit. Didn't take too long to sell, but yeah, Clark's shoes. Just make sure they're in really good condition and they seem to sell quite well. Another brand I dabbled in, Trapstar, Roadman brand. You know, all the Yobbos, the Trapstar and the Hoodrich. Found this hoodie in a British Heart Foundation. Paid £6.50 for it. Uh, the condition wasn't that great. It had like crackling to the front. Uh, did make this very clear in the listing. Had it up for, I think it had it up for £35. Just sitting there for ages and ages and ages. Took an offer, £26 plus postage. So I made just about four times my initial investment. But again, I'll be checking the condition more carefully in the future. Rio roller skates. I've had Rio roller skates before. I've had the, the leather ones and the more sort of synthetic ones. The leather, the leathery ones seem to do better. Uh, these were the cupcakes, so sort of a you know, cupcake, um, cake themed boot. Pay £3 for these in a charity shop. They've gone for £28 plus postage on an offer. I think I had them up for £35. They just weren't shifting. And they're quite big, so I was glad to see them gone. Again, 3 into 28 that's a good bit of profit. Sold another pair of Nike Air Max. These weren't in as good condition. I actually bought them from the same lady as the previous grey pair at a car boot sale. Paid £4 for these. Again, they've gone for £30 plus postage. They are a men's size, men's size 7. The condition wasn't brilliant, but I still got 30 quid, so that's okay. If they're in good condition, you could be asking like 50 plus. So, And in a bigger size, so bear that in mind. Jules. Again, Jules is a brand that uh, is a bit of an enigma. Seems to do either terribly or quite well. This is a Future Pink padded jacket. Paid a pound for this in a charity shop uh, ooh, back in September. Sold it once, came back, it was too small. This is sold again. I haven't heard anything back, so I'm assuming it's okay. £25 plus postage. I actually bought some Lego. Uh, this is a Lego City dump truck, new and sealed. Paid £3 for this at a car boot sale. Took ages to sell. Saturated market. 
eventually sold on a promoted listing, £15 plus postage. Probably wouldn't pick it up again, you know. Probably wouldn't pick it up again. I'm not a big fan of Lego, as you can probably tell from my videos. I don't pick it up. I just... Nah, I'll, I'll, nah. <laughs> High-tech walking boots. These boots were great. If they were a bigger size, I would have kept them. They were a size 11. It just shows. I'm a 13, so you know, I, I'm a really big size. These are a pair of uh, high-tech ultra-hiker walkproof boots. Vibram soles. Lovely condition. Big size. Paid a fiver. £30 plus postage. This is a good sale. And this is something I'm trying to expand into. Dolls. In particular, Monster High. I've got a load of them. Never got around to listing them. I was researching them. Found this one in a charity shop the next day after researching. And I'm glad I did it because this one's worth good money. Paid £3 for this. This is Nefera Denial from the first wave, I think, in 2011. Um, she wasn't complete. She was missing some of her accessories. Missing colour of earrings. She went for £40 plus postage, which is incredible um if she was complete you could be talking 60 70 plus so there is a massive demand for these monster high dolls so keep an eye out for them top tip the more clothing the more accessories the better so these diesel cracked jeans now these are not in the best condition there's a big stain on the left thigh and the bottoms were worn through only paid two pounds the charity shop i think priced it down because of the defects made it very clear in the listing this was the case Went for £20 plus postage, so nice 10x there. I sold another pair of Mayers. I'm glad to see these have been listed, I'm not even joking, for since I started reselling nearly a year ago. One of the first things I listed, and they are just languished. These are a pair of Mayer dress pants. So not the sort of cotton material, the more sort of suit um, suit trousers, I guess you could say. I don't even know what I paid for them. Maybe four quid. They've somehow gone for £20 plus postage. I won't be picking these up again. The profit is there. They just take too long to sell. I don't want to know how much I've spent on eBay fees for these over the year. So, near a year. So, I won't be picking those up again. Even if they're like a quid. They just do not sell very well. The Works Escorts. This is a book about Ford Escorts and rallying. I paid 50p for this in a charity shop last year. Had it up for a little while. Had it up for £25 solid because there were none of the others listed. And this is what they've gone for in the past. £25 plus postage. Nice bit of profit there. This one's been hanging around a while as well. I thought it would sell quite quickly and it hasn't. This is a vintage G1 Transformer hotspot. Again, not complete, but really good condition given what's there. Paid no more than a pound at the car boot. That's gone for £25 plus postage. So taking a while to sell, but a nice bit of profit. This next one is Momentus. This is my first sale to Australia. So these are a pair of Echo Soft 7, almost like Converse style trainers. Uh, they are... They are a lady size 6, so a nice lady size. I paid £6.50, I think, for these in a charity shop. Had them up for 40 Uh Somebody offered me 25 I think, and I counted with 34 and Then they came back to 31 and I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm just, I was in a generous mood. £31 plus postage. Because they're in Australia, they had to pay £62. So pretty much double what the domestic rate was. To get them shipped via GSP to Australia. Mental. But they're in fantastic condition. Again, Echo shoes. I heard good things about Echo. Mixed bag, I find. Mixed bag. So I think it depends on what style you get. The size. Obviously the condition. But yeah, they don't sell as well as I thought they would. So I'm going to bear that in mind going forward. Another one that's been languishing around. I can kind of tell why. This is a Rab Women's Baltoro Alpine Polatec soft shell. Great condition. Apart from the sleeves. The... The hook and loop Velcro sleeve ends were a bit worn. One of them, I think, was coming off. Made it very clear in the listing. Had it up for £45. Eventually, finally, at last, somebody offered me £40 plus postage. Snapped their hand off for that. Off it's gone to their new home in a tranquil Scottish village somewhere. I looked it up on Google. I know, a bit cheeky. Absolutely beautiful environment. So I hope it gets used to its full potential. Orvis trousers. Again, Orvis. There's a bit of a trend here. Another brand that a lot of things I've found and I've bought just don't sell particularly well. Yeah, so these are a pair of cotton chino trousers. Size 46 waist. I'm not even joking. 46 waist. They were massive. Uh, 32 inch inside leg. Had them for 20 quid. I just wanted to see them gone, to be honest. Uh, somebody offered me 17 quid. And I took it. Only paid two pounds for these. I'm going to be very careful what orbs I pick up in the future because I find unless it's workwear or a good material composition, it just sits around for ages. And finally, final sale, and then I'll let you go. 
Big Billy Bass was gone. Big Mouth Billy Bass, an original one from 1999 by Jemmy Industries, in its box with the plastic sheath and all the inserts, fully working. Had it up for £35. Somebody offered me 30 We met in the middle, £32.50, and it's gone. Sold within one day. Now, could I have waited for a bit more money? Yes, probably. But it took up quite a bit of room. And to be fair, I was happy with that. The comps were around there. Yes, it is an original one. Yes, it was in good condition. But I find the rarer ones, the ones with the Christmas hat and the lobster, they seem to hold better money. I could have got, I probably could have pushed 40 but how long would I have been waiting for that £40? You know, in, out, it's gone. That's what I'm doing going forward. So, thank you for watching. It's been a bit different. I just wanted to get through some sales and just sort of rattle off my plans going forward. Promoter listings are in full flow. I'm certainly getting a lot more watches, a lot more views. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to persevere with promoted listings. It's definitely... Yeah, there's definitely something good about them. Even though, at the end of the day, eBay gets more of your money. Yes, it's frustrating. But ultimately, profit is profit. As long as I'm happy with how much I'm making, that's all that matters. I want things coming in, sitting for a little bit, and then out the door. No more languishing around for months on end. I've got a lot of stock that I need to get through. I don't want to be clogging up boxes with stock that just doesn't shift. So, that's my plan going forward. Let's hope the promoted listings keep bringing sales in. So, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.